right, well, Smosh, thank you so much for taking the time, especially during what I can imagine is an insane time for you and your family. But how would you describe what the last 24 hours have been like in the Hurdle household? <laughs> Honestly, it was pretty crazy, especially, you know, yesterday around the noon here, our time, you know, when the news hits, you know, it was my phone almost exploded because, you know, there wasn't like I was going to trade it. Nobody like really talked to it about me, you know, nobody knew it. And so there was a lot of phone call and stuff and it was, you know, excited, you know, for me, same time, but same time, you know, our life wasn't sad, you know, you, I was in this place for 11 years, you know, a lot of, you know, not just players or like who people works for the Sharks, but like around, around the town and stuff. So there was a lot of emotion stuff. And, you know, a lot of stuff was going through my head, you know, I really slept last night, but same time, you know, when kind of cold down, you know, it's exciting, you know, I can, I can go to the Golden Knights, you know, uh, and, you know, with the great organization and team, you know, and again, start fighting for the, for the main thing, you know, for, for the cup, because, you know, they have a great team. Yeah, I'm sure, like you said, I'm sure it's a lot of emotions all at once. And you mentioned that your phone blew up because it was a shock around the hockey world. But what was your reaction when you initially learned that Vegas was interested in you? Yeah, you know, like you always heard the first time rumors, so you just like say, yeah, that, you know, like you always think about it, but when I actually come, you know, I was, you know, I didn't kind of expect it, you know, because you always like here, but same time, like yeah, this is like hell of a team, you know, they, they won it last year, you know, they have great team. He kind of, you know, been struggle here, you know, and I, uh, in my head was like, you know, definitely we have some rivalry stuff, but it's always go behind at the end of the day. But, you know, this is just a great team and, you know, they can do it again and again, you know, they do everything to be on the top right now. And, and, you know, when I was thinking over, you know, like it was tough to say for me, no. You mentioned the rivalry aspect of it. That's something that's died down a little bit over the last few years, but you were a big part of the peak of that rivalry. What's it going to be like walking into the room? Have you thought about that? I think it would be fine. You know, maybe early, this, uh, early when we got to the league, you know, it was big rivalry, some playoff rounds, you know, it's last couple of years, I think it was still now maybe because, you know, we didn't make it a playoff. It wasn't even doing that group. So kind of the, call, the rivalry calm down, but especially the early, you know, when it was, you know, there was, you know, a lot of great games, fun games, you know, with both teams, you know, on each side, win and lose, you know, and and only an H on my fight is against, you know, Mark Stone, the captain. So it's, <laughs> so why only an H on fight? So it's pretty funny, but I, I actually, the Stony and, uh, Jake, I already text me, you know, and I can wait to see them uh, when I get to the town, you know, and, you know, it's it's kind of part of it, but, you know, it's people, I, you know, maybe we have some laughs early or talks what was happening, but I think in a couple of days be fine. So you mentioned that Mark Stone and Jack Eichel have already reached out. You're also, you played with Aiden Hill before. I'm curious what that's been like for you to kind of watch the way his career has taken off since he's come here. Yeah, you know, like, like I'm super happy for him, you know, like it's work out for him, you know, but like going to work out for him better, you know, get to the team, you know, was kind of for him up and down and, you know, he won the cup and he's just now like top top goalie in NHL and he's he's great guy, you know, definitely like we didn't have much time because he wasn't that here that long, but, you know, can't wait to see him again and play in front of him, but, you know, he really involved in all uh the last uh, the last year you also played with joel ward who is in his first year as an assistant coach here in vegas as well i'm curious between mark jack aiden joel what have you heard about this team yeah i was actually talking you know joel because he's a great guy you know i i will i uh, be, be right away connect here to his i'm a big guy always in locker room and actually my wife you know know his wife you know so it's kind of nice to know always you know when you get to the team you know somebody and it's kind of will definitely make easy but i just heard great things about you know the organization you know how how they get three men and they care and everything you know just get to you know win the trophy you know and that's really where i'm looking forward and and you know can can wait when i drive down 
tomorrow, you know, and on Monday, just be in the locker room and just get used to all new things. But, you know, excited, just really excited about this. What was your conversation like with Kelly McCrimmon and the Golden Knights management yesterday? Yeah, I, uh, first thing was like, hopefully it's nice to like, you will score for us, not against us anymore. <laughs> No, but it, it was a great conversation. You know, they they say, you know, they've been looking on me for quite time, you know, which is always nice to hear, like, player, if somebody looking for you and having on on your team and and just they were excited, everything worked out, and I can be part of their organization. You know, it's not like I I, I need to sign or I, I still have, you know, a lot of use for my contract, you know, and... and it was great talk, and it's just I can wait to meet all of them on, you know, Sunday or Monday. And you know, I say same thing. You know, I will do everything to be the best player and the guy around the room. And you know, they don't regret it. You know, they get me, and I want to just bring my best. You've said a couple of times now that you want to be here because this team has a chance to win the cup. You had to waive a no movement clause in order to get here. You've said that's the one of the things that you know appeals to you most. What do you see in this group? What makes you think that's possible? Uh, you know, like we play so much against, you know, last, you know, like we just play again because we're in the same division. So I know how tough they are, you know, and even the building is so tough to, you know, win. And in the team of Larry and I know because the fans are crazy, the energy is there. And and I just love the, honestly, the team. I think this team is built like playoff team, you know, and, they big, they have a lot of guys, they can just know how to win and and just make it for the playoff, honestly. And and I was, you know, watching last year and I kind of knew it like this team, like when I look at they just built for the for the playoff runs and they just can be tough. And I think they all around good, you know, they deep, they all four lines, you know, the defensemen, you know, it's just well done team make and I'm happy I can be now a part of it and and can you know just can't wait to right now start it. You mentioned the way the, the building is here, the fortress we call it. What's it gonna be like to be on that ice and on that bench as a member of the home team? Yeah it will be for sure the probably first game will be weird for me. I would lie if it's not but you know it's I always enjoy like even just playing in Sarina because it's so much energy, it's so loud, you know, it's so crazy. And it's it's kind of way different than all hockey arenas, man, you know. So it's some something different I'm really looking forward to because every game I play, I not just because the rivalry, everything, it was just always a lot of fun be at a building. So we know what you bring on the ice. The, the players know, the coaches know, they've played against you enough. The fans know as well because they've watched you and been hurt by you a couple of times as well. Um, but we've heard so many things about your role off the ice. I know Bruce Cassidy said he's already received text messages about you. Um, we've heard from, you know, the digital and the TV crew there in San Jose. What do you think you can bring off the ice? What do you want to bring to the locker room? I kind of, you know, they, when I make back here, they, one time I say fun must be always. So I think... I always try to bring the smile around the room, you know. I always like to, you know, smile and have fun, you know, and just to bring, bring, you know, the smile on other guys. And and I think I always did a pretty good job with the fans and and just kind of the happy mood at the same time when it's needed, you know. I, uh, I'm not scared to speak up to the team, not speaking to guys. And, you know, I'm in this league 11 years, so... I was I didn't never won it, but I was in the finals. I have some good runs in playoffs, so so I was part of all this. So I know what does it mean, what I have to bring, and and you know if I have to talk to the fans, I think uh, they can be excited, and you know I think I'm a fun guy to be around and good guy to be around. So hopefully uh, I can prove it even in the Las Vegas. Fun must be always. I think we need to put that on a T-shirt. That's going to be the first hurdle T-shirt if I have, <laughs> if I have any say in that. Yeah, I, I, I think I said that I'm not like my English is now like, it's like uh, the be best thing ever. But like when I was first here, I, I say it and everybody, you know, like it because I just say it, you know, because, you know, I always like to smile and just bring the, bring the energy in the rooms. And that's kind of what I am.
Well, I know you said you're making the drive down tomorrow. Can you tell us who's going to be coming with you? I'm oh, sorry. Who's going to be coming with you? Make the drive down tomorrow. We're at Vegas, uh, you, but they also gain your family. So who's coming with you? No, uh, tomorrow I'll be driving by myself. Okay, just, fair. Yeah, it's, uh, because you know I want to first settle. Actually, my mom is now here. She found out too, like just like yesterday, it will happen. So it was kind of shocked for her too. But you know, I will drive myself, and when I settle and get things, you know, because I got you know family. I got three years old and one year old, so. I don't want to just put them, you know, like when it's not like stuff ready because, you know, we, we get house here. So the old, the older one have preschool and stuff here. So now they can like chill. So unfortunately, I'll be not willing to play right away, you know, because I have to get through a rehab. But so I got at least a little more time to figure out, you know, all the logistic and stuff around. So that when they come, they, they can just settle down. Have you gone through all your text messages yet? Yeah, trying. It was it was pretty crazy. It's very like people try to call me. I say, hey, give me time. I a lot of <laughs> friends back home. I already told them, hey, don't worry. Tomorrow I will leave five a.m. I'll be seven hours into my car. I can Do call with everybody shout. you want. <laughs> so I think for seven hours straight from the San Jose to Vegas, I'll be on my phone talking all the all the friends and stuff. And friends from here, they kind of you know like some friends was already here, you know, and and they still will come, you know. Definitely not, you know, easy because, you know, there's some teammates like Logan Kushur, I was forever with here, you know, really close. So it's always tough to say goodbye, but, you know, it's what we're doing in our, in our sport is, it's part of it, but uh, that's, that's probably it. Yeah. Well, Tomasha, I know it's a bittersweet uh, having been in the same place for your entire career leading up to this, but Vegas, uh, I think I can speak for the entire city and organization when I say that we are so excited to have you and have your family here eventually as well, whenever they're able to, to make their way down. So thanks a lot for doing this and we can't wait to see you soon. Yeah. Thank you guys. Can't wait to drive down there and be part of the, the, the night organization and all, all the, all the city around and the fans can, can wait to start it there. And hopefully, hopefully all we all do great things together.